All right, today let's talk about um, market structure. When, when we talk about market structure, we fail to understand that we have different kind of price actions. We have some actions that will respond to their support and resistance zone, but we'll have some that will in no way respond to it. So when you want to see a total breakout, it becomes a difficult task because of something like this, something like this, you know, and finally what happened here. So it becomes a difficult task for people to see those things and manage it accurately. So in this video, I'm going to be helping you to see some of the basic structures of the market that will help you to fish out some of those fake ones that will help you to be able to trade accurately and come out successfully. My name is GDFX and I want you to subscribe to our channel if you have not done that and if you have done that I want to say thank you for supporting us, thank you for standing by us, thank you for rushing whenever we we'll draw videos you always come back to check what we have for to you. Now I want to wish you good luck and I want to wish you success in your forest. You would definitely make out something. Now for all of you that want to trade using this very strategy, like I said last time, this is what we have here is a moving average. This one, what we have here now is moving average. This one you are seeing here is a moving average. 12 exponential and uh, the color apply to close that is exponential and the second one we'll have is moving average 21 the color is red then i told us that there is something you will be needing that will be of a great assistant to you now let me start by putting this thing in this angle some people believe that using uh, moving average 200 is the best thing for them to do so that they can be able to see uh, the structures of the market is it's a nice one but it depends on the capital you are trading with you know 200 moving average is 200 period days so it becomes difficult for you to use it for example let's go a little bit lower to five minutes time frame if you go to a little lower like five minutes time frame you see it becomes a challenge for you to be sure that what has crossed has finally crossed like what we have here now like what like what we have here and what we have here it crosses it draws back it crosses and it draws back so if you are to wait for it to cross for you to trade you cross here you will trade somewhere here or somewhere here only for you to be losing this thing at this spot you know it crossed here and only for you to be losing your trade at this spot even finally came to this point because you were waiting for this to cross so when you are using mm, moving average 200 what is the need of moving average 200 number one is that yeah it works perfectly and helps you to detect a total change in the game is in a higher time frame you know when it comes to higher time frame that is where it will be easier for you to detect the total move in the market and with that you can easily say yes this market is now in my direction so when you apply moving average 200 moving average you go to your higher time frame once you have something like that looks like this it's a go go you know it's a go go because you have two agreements you have this one here and you have this one here so you will use this thing to confirm that the markets have changed a direction completely from a higher time frame to presently a lower i mean from uptrend now to become a trend which means that the journey that started from here to this place now started going down from this angle 
this is where you confirm it so if you are to place your thread here this candle here is your entry point here is your stop loss you know because you are doing skyping here is your stop loss i mean for you to catch a spike here is your stop loss because we are using crash 1000 so when you do this now what it will take you is that you have to check the last support zone which is somewhere here so this is where you should be putting your tp first tp should be here don't ignore those things first tp should be here you know so if you check let me clear this and make make you to understand what i'm saying now when you want to use 200 moving average to detect the structures of the market look at what we are using in a lower time frame which is the 20 21 and 12 moving averages which is this we have here it came to agreement here for you to catch a spike because someone asked me a question can you please drop a video that i can use to catch a spike if that is your desire please use this method i'm telling you is going to be of a great help to you but do you know one funny thing about this the funny thing is that you can see it widely here because i'm using a laptop but when it comes to your phone you may not see it accurately because what you have on your phone is something that looks like this which is the portrait position of your phone so even when you turn your phone to this position it will not help you to see accurately what i'm saying here and when the changes will occur like this you'll be able to see it but when you when it comes to this place you only see something that looks like this and part of this you will not be able to see it so for you to get this thing accurately as i'm showing you now please always try to rotate your phone try to place your phone to look like this whenever you want to do your morning analysis so that it will have this shape and what is the essence of that it will help you to detect from your relative strength index or your support net uh, that you use to check your divergence and convergence all of them anything you are using so that when your market is going in this direction you will be able to see it you know and when the candle is going in this direction on your main chart it will help you also to see it and see the beginning see the week see the time frame and see everything accurately so please always use your phone in this method that is one of the things i need to tell you if you are talking about structure if you are talking about to see the structures of the market because the structures of the market in just a local world is to see how the market look like how the market is structured what make this thing to stop here what makes these things to stop here and later continue in few candles what makes this thing to have a similar position in this place that is what the market looks like so whatever that makes these things to stop here and start going up is the structures of the market it helps you to see how the market has structured so when you don't position your phone or you I mean your smartphone or your system very well or use the right time frame or zoom level it becomes difficult for you to get the right knowledge you know then some of you we are told that if you have your 200 moving average it helps you to see the market clearly and i want to say it clearly that the 200 moving average can be favorable for day traders you know not in traders but day traders those that trade from four hours um from day trend week trend they use it to see the accurate package of the market to determine the move of the market especially when the market must have crossed over below the 200 moving average the market says that is selling and when the market must have crossed from that position you are seeing after this thing you are seeing here now when this thing must have crossed like this the, the same that, that market is buying which is on a bullish move now let me show you something that will confirm what i'm telling you when you are looking for a position that you can place trade for a long period of time please apply moving average 12 moving average 21 then if you want to detect if the market 
actually currently is on a down move or an up move then you visit your higher time frame once you do that you check where did this thing cross from your day trend if this thing crossed like this then you check the current candle that is trending and see actually if the candle is making a move up move or a down move like this when that happened then check we are the 200 moving average lines falls if it falls below like this it means that the market have finally taken over the market to move in this direction but don't be deceived each of these candle you see here represent a day candle and you cannot trade more than a day candle in a day so every move is for the day so let's assume that you 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 may be deceived by seeing this thing going in this direction each of them were intercepted by the present move of the market either by sell or buyers you know so when the market is currently making a move please follow the trend and don't trade against the trend it's very very dangerous so what you do once you confirm this you now move down to the current state of the market the current move that the market which is what we have here now and once you have this candle here you will confirm that it touched here first touched here the second time so the market is in this direction and if you follow these trend lines that will draw you will bear with me that one thing is remaining one thing that is remaining is that we are expecting that this candle should come down like this because it has formed the heads you know it has formed the hex so since it has formed the hex it has the probab the possibility of coming down to this angle you know and once that happened it will break out this line this line you are seeing here all right so when am i to place trade you place trade as this thing make a cross like this for you to be more comfortable you place when it must have crossed from this line that is what we do but you can't hold all this while before trading so one thing you need to do is you step down a little to your lower time frame you know you step down a little to your lower time frame for you to be able to detect or determine the move of the market so now um i want to trade how do i do that using this um 500 um using this uh, volatility uh index using this boom and crash using this uh, uh 500 1000 how do i use moving average 12 and 21 to trade is very very simple please i beg you trade a candle from a higher time frame and come down to your lower time frame to enjoy it you know once you have something that looks like this it's an opportunity for you to take your candles first watch watch below it you will see a cross below and once it moves to this point and cross this 200 moving average it gives you an opportunity for you to trade as simple as that let me show you this let's check and see how accurate these things can be now like i told you if you are waiting for this in your higher time frame your if you are using a small account like ten dollars twenty dollars fifty dollars and you want to trade with 200 moving average you will keep on waiting and mistakenly you will wipe your account because 200 period days is not just a day it's a very period of time a very long time so please come down to your lower time and use what can i mean what your account can accommodate get that straight what your account can accommodate your account is 50 dollars you should not use moving average that is above 50. why because you the days your account can carry should not be above 50. but you can add higher moving averages why because you will use it to see the structures of the market remember what you are talking about what is that structure you are talking about to see what has happened did um this market i'm watching now uh, in 100 days time what was the position of the market what was the position of the market was the market on a bullish move or was the market on a bearish move if you do that it helps you to see it like what we have here this is 200 moving average but i will not relax and i will not advise you to trade with it i will only ask you to focus on the lower moving average based on your account if your account is too high you can do that and it helps you but don't i have the right to keep it you have the right to keep it for you to be sure that finally this market have trend this market is below this 
and not above this but why you should be very very careful is that you may be thinking that it's above this only for you to see that the next candle will pull it back again you know because when the market keeps coming they will test the momentum of the market and if they do so you will be at loss if you are not careful that this market is about to reverse you know so that is one of the things you should know about this and you should be careful when it comes to this like as this market is doing this consolidation position here someone who don't understand the market will think that the market may have crossed because it makes the first move here second move here so the person may think finally it have crossed but once the market have crossed watch the shape of the line the line is flat the line is a partial um, horizontal so you need to be very very careful in such states that you don't fall victim of it so trade when the market makes the right move and avoid the market when you are not too sure of the market you know so that is how simple these things can be when you can be able to detect the structures of the market when you can be able to follow up the structures of the market when you can be able to like we have this long move range look at this we have this long move range making it difficult for people to trade at the right time and if you are not careful you will enter for a, a buy and the spike will come and all of a sudden your you will gain your money back and when you want to hold for profit it will spike again so that's why you should be very very careful and don't be deceived with 200 moving average if you don't have enough account you know what i mean but when you visit something like four hours when you visit something like four hours it becomes a strength it becomes a stamina like once you have this agreement you are sure that the market is going up so each time it crosses before it returns back you have taken something look at it look at it you see how to confirm it is that it must have a little cross first and it will come together like this as simple as that you know as simple as that that is how market can be now if you go a little lower to one hour time frame you will see almost the same thing you will see it so this is how simple this thing can be everybody can do it if you know what you're doing so apply this now and trade and make huge profit remember that the moving average will have is 12 exponential apply to close make any choice of your color and there is no need for levels all right then the second red line you are seeing is moving average 21 exponential then apply to close and what you have on ground is red you have the right to change your color that is your own business it has no effect on the move of the market you can change your color the essence of the color is for you to see that this line color represents 5 10 20 or whatever you are using so as simple as that that is how the market can be please my subscribers please my viewers all over the world please i beg you don't trend when the market is consolidating it's very very dangerous it can wipe away your account it can make you to hold for a long time with confusion of all that you know how to predict don't predict when the market is consolidating because it can frustrate you i mean it can so frustrate you whenever the market is consolidating allow the market to take a move before you trade imagine you placing a trade from this angle you hold all this time what if the market later moved down to this point because after every consolidation there must be a move that is one thing you should have in mind so don't fall this victim maybe mistakenly you forgot that you placed a trade only for you to come back and see that your account is empty sometimes you may be lucky that it moved to a direction that will favor you but that doesn't mean that you know what you did it happened by chance so don't trade consolidation market but once the market finish consolidating once the market is ranging what it means is that sellers are present buyers are present two of them are fighting so the ones with higher 
capital, the ones with higher strength, momentum will take over the market. That is how simple this thing can be. So it's not your wish that matters. It is the structure that market that, that matters. It is the momentum, the present momentum of the market that matters. So if sellers are more than buyers, they will take over the market. Your prayers will not change it. Your wish will not change it. Even the knowledge you have cannot change it. So the essence of knowledge is for you to follow suit at the right time. My name is GDFX and I want you to stay clear in the market and be successful. If you join us in our last class, please make sure you drop your assignment in my private chat. Please, I have received one this morning and the person did marvelously well. That is how we roll. And if you keep doing it that way, one day, all this profit you showed me this morning, though you did it in your demo account, remember if you can see the same thing in your life account and do it, that is how success comes. You know that? So every one of you, please keep practicing, keep learning, and keep winning. I have one person who have used $8 to raise it to $168, making additional $160 after mentorship in a week. That is how success I want to see. All right? That is the success I need to see. And remember what I told you, that life is not going to be easy until you hit it hard. If you are looking for a mentorship, if you are looking for one that can mentor you, please, it's not a must, you must come to me. Like I said, look for anyone that can train you. Look for anyone. But in case you don't have anyone that you can trust or you can rely on, please contact GDFS for now because very soon the offer will be over. Very soon. I mean, when I mean very soon, the offer will be over because I have a limited number of people I select. So once I'm done with that number of people, the time will be over until I until I release good number of them so that I can accept more people. All right. I have a free um telegram group. We someone has been personating me. So telegrams are having it difficulty in following us. I mean in putting us right. So each time we create a group within few days of time people will create similar groups in not less than five accounts so when we share to them the proof that we are the original people it becomes difficult for them to see and believe also making them to terminate our um, login or invitation link so even the one we have on youtube now is no longer functional because it's now private so i will be dropping I will try to edit almost all our videos to add up the new ones. So if you have tried to join us in the Telegram group and it's not forthcoming or it's not working, please bear with us. We are fixing something on it and it's going to happen very soon. And if you are on the group already, when someone in, invite you and add you up to a new group, please do well to be careful because I am not the one. I don't do investment program. I've never asked anybody to join my investment program. I don't do that. I don't trade Bitcoin, please. I don't trade currency for now. And I don't do account management. And if we had a discussion on our WhatsApp about mentorship, that discussion stands. I will never ask you to pay extra fee if you have joined the class already. I will never do that. And I will never ask you to pay for advanced class. Whatever have a great stance so anybody asking you to pay extra 500 dollars for advanced class that is not gdfx it's a scammer please avoid that my name is gdfx and i want you to succeed i want you to go higher in life so put your best and you'll get the best gdfx signing out